Good morning. So this is Aggie's treat for this morning. She just gets uh, leftover food from uh, whatever we had for dinner. And this happens to be pasta. And this is Don, and I'm Mark. And uh, we're Aggie's uh, keepers, so to speak, and friends. Mark Dumas is guardian, mentor, and provider. Hi, baby. To one of the most questionable of all pets. Oh, yeah. The biggest carnivore on land. Meet oh, Aggie, 16 yeah. years old and over two meters tall. She's believed to be the only pet polar bear in the world. Even though Aggie could kill, Mark rarely feels in danger. Oh, she's a, she's a, she just yawned. Oh, yeah. This is how we start our day. There's nothing, nothing tense, and there's not. We're not working. We're just kind of uh, hanging a bit, and it satiates her desires to spend time with me. Uh, she likes to. Afterwards, she's usually pretty relaxed about it. Oh, okay. You got that paw out, don't you? Oh. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, gentle. Mark adopted Aggie from a zoo in Sweden when she was just a six-week-old cub. And reared, she lived in his house until she got too big. To pay her way, Mark rents her out for feature films, commercials and photo shoots. Stand up. When Mark um, is working her on what he calls the smile, it's actually a roar for camera. Good girl you are, yes! Smile. Come, smile. <laughs> so how do you teach a bear smile. to smile? smile Same way you teach any king-sized dog. Girl. All it takes are biscuits for bribery, chocolate for rewards, and a squirt gun. Oh, good girl. Next up, the crawl. This is actually a very difficult behavior to teach crawl. any bear, let alone a polar bear, crawl. is laying crawl. down. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Oh, good girl! Because that is total submission. And this is what we would do in a setup sequence for her running to camera or away from camera. Hurry! 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 Finally, one of the most dangerous stunts. Good girl! Good girl. Good girl! This is so risky that Aggie was actually filmed hugging Mark and the real actor was added using computer graphics. <laughs> With a bear that's so well trained, it's sometimes easy to forget Aggie is actually the largest and deadliest predator on land and Mark is very sensitive to her temperament. The last thing you want is irritable bear syndrome. She's not closing with you. She might not be in the mood. That's all you're gonna get. Yeah. Aggie's clearly not in the mood for any more training. Time to cool things down. She might wanna do this more after I swim with her. I think so. look really cute and cuddly, and she is with me. But if someone else tried to swim with her, she would probably hurt them to the point that they'd either be visiting the hospital or they'd be visiting the morgue. Good luck, my friend. Polar bears can hold their breath for far longer than most people, so Mark must be careful not to get trapped underwater by Aggie. Actually, Aggie could accidentally drown me if I uh, weren't real careful. 
She can hold her breath far longer than I can. They can hold her breath like five minutes. Now, I can't do that. Come on! Rearing up for the camera may look impressive, but the camera crew is dangerously close. So Mark draws Aggie back to the pool. <laughs> because for bear-obsessed Mark, there's a new teddy on the scene. Meet Billy, the latest preposterous addition to the Dumas household. At 140 kilograms and only 16 months old, he'd be no match for his older, colder cousin Aggie. So this grizzly bear is being house trained. Slobber, slobber, slobber. Slobber, slobber, slobber. That's a good boy. <sighs> I got him again. I got him. I got him in the waist. <laughs> we got Billy when he was six months old, and um, he was a, a, a nice socialized bear already. So it was really fun to have him around as a cub. And he weighs right now around 250 to 300 pounds. <laughs> and when he stands up, he stands up to my shoulder, which is a, just not quite five feet, about four foot eight, four foot nine. Come on, Billy. Let's go to the bar. Easy. A bear Easy. walks into a bar. Sounds like the start of a joke. Yet, as Billy has his sights set on becoming an animal actor like Aggie, it's essential he gets over his stage fright and learns to relax in public. It's important for Billy to come out and explore new places. And he gets to sniff around, he smells new things, he gets to see everything's different. So are we gonna get the for Mark, that means regular trips for a beer at the local bear bar. Oh yes, 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 a good bear, yes. Out on the town, Billy can really let his fur down. Back home, sticking to a regular routine is all part of the best bear parenting practice. And I will, uh, you know, we don't do it in hours and hours uh, unless you're just hanging out and playing with him. Good charge, good boy. Here. Just like Aggie, a quick dip in the pool is one of Billy the Bear's favorite playtime activities. But this is the very first time Mark has dared to get in the water with him. And with razor sharp claws, he's got to be careful. So this is so much good stuff, by it. Good boy. Billy loves to swim. He just loves. He just had the best time of his life. Come in now.